Nope. All 11 players of Ben Chaddy were killed during the match when lightning struck the ground. Nani? Today, we're going to go over the 10 strange and interesting facts about football that most people can't imagine are true. Make sure to watch till the end because number one will show you how hilarious the combination of football and fog can be. Football is a game filled with many emotions, anger, sadness, happiness, and excitement, and can lead to something crazy and funny. Everyone knows what it feels like to watch jaw-dropping goals, breathtaking saves, and impossible tackles. But even if you are a hardcore fan of the sport, there are still many crazy things you might not know. So without wasting any time, let's dive deep into the funny side of football. Number 10. Most Red Cards in a Match A football fan knows how much damage a single card can cause to a team. If the other team also receives a red card, then it balances out. Now, try imagining 36 red cards in a single game. This happened in a game between Claypool and Victoriano Arenas in 2011. By the first half, two players were already dismissed, but little did people know that it was just the beginning of a tsunami of red cards. All hell broke loose after the beginning of the second half and 36 red cards were shown by referee Damian Rubino. One to each player and 14 additional cards to coaches and subs. Number 9. Alex Song has a lot of siblings. Family is an important part of everyone's life and different people belong to different types of families. Some people have small families while others have joint families. But the family of Alex Song is exceptionally different. In an interview, the footballer revealed that he has 27 siblings. Alex has 10 brothers and 17 sisters. Just imagine the queue in the morning in front of the bathroom. In an interview, Alex revealed that he loves his family and they are always his number one priority. He spoke about how difficult it was growing up with so many brothers and sisters. So many members in one family must have made the grocery bill look like a house payment. Number 8. Dumped into trash can. Have you ever felt so annoyed by someone that you wanted to pick them up and throw them into the dustbin? Well, something similar happened with now Valencia CF coach Gennaro Gattuso. Thiago Silva revealed this story. He said that Gattuso was continuously teasing Zlatan during a training session. Gattuso was provoking Zlatan all morning but Zlatan stayed calm and did not react. Little did Gattuso know that it was the calm before storm. Zlatan and Gattuso met again in the dressing room and Zlatan lifted the entire body of his teammate, flipped him over, and threw him into the trash can. Everyone in the dressing room started laughing and Chiago added that he could not stop laughing because of the incident for a week. Gattuso messed with the wrong person. Everyone knows that Zlatan doesn't fear anyone, fear fears him. Number 7. The entire team got killed by lightning. In October 1998, a match between Ben Achadi and Basanga ended in a tragedy when all 11 players of Ben Chadi were killed during the match when lightning struck the ground. The score was 1-1 when the unfortunate incident took place. Witchcraft was blamed for this incident in Congo because many teams across Western and Central Africa are known to take the help of witch doctors to put curses on their opponents. People found it strange that one team was not even scratched while the other team lost all 11 players. Number 6. Why Germany Humiliated Brazil 7-1 In the World Cup semifinals of 2014, after destroying the Brazilian defense for 45 minutes, Germany was leading 5-0 before halftime. During halftime, Germany's coach gathered the players in halftime and told the players to show respect to the opposition team and not to humiliate them in the second half. However, the coach did not notice that Andre Scherle was not present there because he was using the bathroom at that time. Moreover, none of the teammates informed Andre what the coach said. Andre stepped into the ground in the second half and scored two more goals against Brazil in the second half. The final score was 7-1 which set a record for the most goals scored in a World Cup semi-final. Number 5. Hit by Flair or Was He? During the World Cup qualifier of 1990, Chile was facing Brazil in a do-or-die situation. 
Brazil was winning by 1-0 and even a draw would have qualified them, but that was not the case with Chile. They needed a win to qualify. Only 20 minutes were left and Brazil was looking good until the world suddenly fell apart. Roberto Rojas, Chile's keeper, was lying on the floor, seemingly hit by a flare thrown by Brazilian fans. Smoke rising just inches away from him and he had a head injury. Medical staff rushed to the ground and carried Rojas off the pitch as his head was bleeding heavily and the referee had to abandon the game. Here's the twist. Later, it was found out that Rojas smuggled a blade into his glove and deliberately hurt himself to get Brazil disqualified. Rojas failed horribly and he was banned from the football for a lifetime. Number 4. Four Goal Hero and Villain in 1975, Aston Villa's Chris Nicole had probably the best and worst day of his life as he scored four goals in the match. But the only problem was the two of those goals were scored on his own net. After scoring four goals, the defender went to ask the referee if he could keep the ball with him. Sadly, the referee denied it because it was the referee's last match and he was keeping the ball to himself. Hard luck for Chris, it was his first hat trick and he didn't even get to keep the ball. Number 3. Taste of his own medicine Something hilarious happened during the 1930 World Cup semifinal. The United States was playing against Argentina and the US team was kicking in more ways than one. There were several ferocious but poor tackles. Eventually, a trainer named Jack Cole had to enter the pitch to give some treatment. He dropped his medical bag on the ground and a bottle of chloroform broke inside. He collapsed because of the fumes he was carried out of the pitch instead of the player he came to treat. Something you won't see very often. Number 2. Highest Scoring Game Ever A strong defense is very important for every team in order to win matches. But defense doesn't mean anything if you can't score goals. A football match with 6-7 goals is considered a high scoring match. But sometimes things can get a little crazy. What if I were to tell you that there was a match in which the winning team won by 149-0? to zero? It is hard to believe but there is an interesting story behind it. The game between Asadima and So Imern took place on 31st October 2002. A late penalty was awarded against So Imern but the club questioned the referee's decision. Players of So Imern decided to protest against the debatable decision of the referee in the final match of the season. The instant match kicked off. The players started scoring their own goals until the last minute and that game was recorded as the highest scoring game of all time. Well, the team was banned for three years and some players lost their jobs because of this stunt. Before we move on to number one, here is a bonus fun fact about football. Real Madrid sold about 50,000 James Rodriguez jerseys in just one day. On the other hand, Juventus sold absolutely zero Nicholas Banner jerseys in a whole season. Nicholas should have bought at least one himself. Number 1. Fog and football don't mix well The match between Charlton and Chelsea on 25 December 1937 was stopped in the 60th minute because of the thick fog. However, Charlton's legendary goalkeeper, Sam Bartram, was not aware of that as he couldn't hear the whistle because of the crowd behind him. The keeper stood there for 15 minutes with his arms stretched and entirely focused to not get shocked by the opponent's attack. 15 minutes later, the stadium police told Sam that the match has been abandoned. It's kind of like hide and seek when you have been hiding in a bush for an hour while everyone went inside to enjoy a pizza. So guys, these were the top 10 strange and interesting facts about football that are hard to believe and funny at the same time. Tell us in the comment section which one you think was the most interesting. Make sure to hit the like button if you love the video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss more amazing videos like this from us. I'll see you in the next video. Take care!